So because I've had quite a rough week last week, I thought I would just do some sort of funny video. And so I just wanted to let you know this is all very tongue in cheek and something to cheer myself up and make myself giggle when I'm off camera <laughs> and maybe a little bit on camera as well. Um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to tell you. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have fun. Hope it makes you laugh as much as it made me laugh creating it. Hello, BookTube. This is Kim from Middle of the Book March. And you already know that if you've watched any of my other videos. So what is this video? Um, going to be a little sarcastic, a little weird. Uh, I'm hoping I make myself laugh, make myself smile. It's been a crappy week last week. That's as far as I'm going to go. So I thought I would give you an alternate version of the BookTube newbie tag. When I started BookTube, I've been doing it two and a half years. When I started, I didn't actually know of this specific tag, but I put together a couple of uh, or several prompts of different new booktuber tags and I answered a lot of those questions and I've also done some questions about getting to know me and you know a bunch of other stuff about my library blah 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 so I'm gonna do the alternate booktube newbie tag or the not so newbie tag and I did another version of this a little while back but this one is um like I said a little bit more to cheer me up and make the crap go away. <laughs> First question is, why did you start this channel? Mostly to justify the amount of money I spend on books. And uh, I pretty much love listening to myself talk. Next one, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Well, snark, clearly. A sparkling wit. Oh, genius level intelligence. Uh, humility, clearly. Um, and the conspicuous lack of caring what anybody else thinks about me. Next prompt, what are you most excited about in for this new channel? Um, I'm excited to see how many times I can wear the same shirt without anybody noticing. Next prompt, why do you love reading? It allows me to avoid all idiotic conversations with other members of humanity while also appearing smart. Next one, what book or series got you into reading? Uh, the series of scholastic book order forms that began in kindergarten. Number, I don't know what number it is, whatever, the next one. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Will you please notice me? Will you please be my friend? Will you please comment and subscribe to my channel? Next prompts. What? I don't know why I pluralize that. Next stupid prompt. And I can't pronounce it. Next stupid prompt. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? My inability to speak clearly. Uh, basically not boring myself. Honestly, it's already started. When did you start reading? Um, I was reading Neon Street Signs from the womb. Where do you read? Where there's gravity? What kind of books do I like to read? The kind with pages that allow me to avoid all idiotic conversations with other members of humanity. What does your book collection look like? Looks like a bunch of books on shelves. I think that's it. That's it for my alternate version of the booktube newbie tag. New booktube newbie tag, booktube not so newbie tag. I don't know if there's more questions than that. Why did I bother with all this? Because it's just I wanted to shake something up, shake myself up. Um, just a little, having a little fun midweek, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got plenty of other things in the works, too, um, to go back to my normal persona. This is not the snarky, sarcastic me anymore. This is the regular me. <laughs> uh, I've got some other videos that I was planning on doing. Um, I want to definitely take part in the Stand with Trans Kids book tag, which was started by Leo Bancroft. And I'm gathering my books together for that one, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. So that is coming up. And I am going to be doing, I'm looking at my Save, my save Later video list. Uh, I'm also going to do um, a tag, kind of a tag, or a chatty video about my book acquisitions. And um, this was started by Shelley Swearingen, and Gina Stanier kind of made it into a tag. So I wanted to talk about that. Um, yeah, I think that's 
I have some other things going on. I, I'm not going to say I'm ashamed of myself, but I'm hyper aware of the amount of books I've been buying. <laughs> now, and this has been over the past few to two to three months. So it's not like I've got, you know, tons of books that all of a sudden I've gone out for a weekend and spent a couple hundred dollars on books. No, but I do have quite the piles going of books to haul. And I don't know, I I honestly really love book hauls. I love watching book hauls because I love seeing what other booktubers have found and what deals they've they've acquired. I love finding out where everybody buys their books and how they acquire books. I really like all that. And I love sharing the books that I've acquired, and especially when I get them at super deals. The majority of the books that I have to haul, I have a bag of nine library sale books, and I have several piles of used books that I've bought uh, online and at a local thrift store. There are very few brand new books, but there are a few. And I think maybe maybe six of the books are brand new. And I think five of them I bought at um, either a local bookstore or bookstore bookshop.org. Now, if you're not aware of bookshop.org, uh, it is an online um, kind of a bookstore gathering place for independent bookshops. And if I'm going to buy a, a new book that I'm not necessarily going to go out to a store, I am going to go online and I'm going to order from bookshop.org. And I have a few bookstores that are not necessarily really local to me, but they are around an hour away from me in New Hampshire. And I usually order from one or one or two of those independent bookshops. So I've, I've acquired books that way as well. And what else? I do buy books from Book Outlet. They are discounted, uh, deeply discounted, overstock books and bargain books and um, that type of thing. So I do order books from them. My one open book order that I have is through Book Outlet, and I think I have six books on that order. So, and I have um, bought some other books from them that are still in my pile. So that's another thing that's coming up, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, do I want to haul every book that I bought? Do I want to break it up into a couple videos? Because there there very nearly are that many books that I don't know if I can put them all in one video. So what else have I got going on? Just the normal stuff. Um, I'm not doing any um, booktube prize this month. I think I mentioned that in one of my last videos. I think I'm kind of rambling at this point, but I just wanted to come on booktube in a video and say hello to everybody and kind of, you know, do my alternate newbie book tag. Now, it's really interesting. A lot of my, the favorite booktubers that I watch, I've gone back to their early videos and I've looked for the newbie tag. And the ones that I've been watching for a while, I look at their, their answers or I listen to their answers about what is the thing that most intimidates you. And, uh, a lot of them have said like the technological aspects and the editing and the amount of time it takes. And I think for me, that was the same. I was most intimidated by edit video editing. I've never done that before about sound and finding the right lighting, kind of all of those technical aspects of doing videos. And it's funny because I'm not at all worried about that anymore. I, I am a very straightforward editor. I make my videos on my iPhone and I edit on my iPhone and I don't really do anything fancy. I go on canva.com on my laptop and I do my thumbnails and I add text and that sort of stuff. But I'm not really a fancy editor. So I very quickly learned those tech, those skills and techniques that anybody can learn. So what is the most intimidating thing about BookTube now? I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's a time commitment and figuring out what videos to make. And, you know, if I've set up to film a video, I usually think of, do I have time to film a couple videos or do I have enough ideas to fill a, fill, film a couple videos so I don't waste time when I have my setup ready to go? For me, it's typically when there's nobody else home <laughs> and I only have two other people in my house. But if my husband is home, he literally cannot be quiet. 
and it's not, he's not doing it maliciously. He's just never quiet. My daughter, she will play on her laptop with her headphones on. And once in a while, you'll hear her laughter in the background. That's fine with me. But then it's when she thinks she's being funny and she tries to interrupt me or she tries to make funny faces behind the camera. That's when I'm like, I got to figure out a time when neither one of them are either awake or home. So... So that's, those are my challenges, and those will probably be ongoing challenges. Finding time to film, create the content, edit the videos. Um, that's another thing is, is figuring out the content. And it's not always easy, but the longer I've been on BookTube, the, the more comfortable I am with just coming on a video and talking like I'm doing today. This this is not at all like I thought it was going to be. I'm I'm you know chatting about quite a bit more than just alternate answers to the newbie tag, but uh, but if I go back to some of those answers, it's so hilarious because when I think about you know a couple of those questions, um, why do you love reading is so such a difficult question to answer, and because I'm a lifelong reader, so I've never not loved it. I would I don't really know how to put that into words. And the other one that struck me as so funny is, um, what would you ask or what would you talk about with your favorite uh, booktubers? <laughs> and it's like, it was hilarious when the booktubers that I had been watching for a year and a half, two years before I started a channel, actually commented on a video of mine for the first time. I almost passed out. It's it's like, it's like movie stars or it's like being in front of um, a cast of a movie and having one of the actors notice you. <laughs> It was so funny. And I look back now and I was so starstruck with so many of my favorite booktubers. But now some of them are such good friends and I just love them as people. So I thought that was a really cute question. But that's about it. I just thought I'd come on and chat a little bit. Um, let you know what's upcoming on my channel and I'm getting some tags ready and some other chatty videos and some book hauls. And we'll go from there. I hope you guys are having a good week. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.